salvation is to be found. And you interesting a yeah, yeah. fish. Very interesting. I will read this one here. Um, Kokinabna, 100 meters high hills rising from of the water to press crabby river in, in front, front of, of the town. So climbs a staircase to the sea caves with stalactites and stalagmites. The human skeletons have been found here. It is theorized they are remains of immigrants who became stranded and died after a sudden flood. And down here, uh, I'm not sure how you see PP Islands National Park. Cover area to Nong Tale Subdistrict. Nong Tale. Nong Tale. Yes. Like my name, Nong. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, Subdistrict and Pak Nam Subdistrict include interesting place. For example, um, not sure. No Parat Tala. No Parat. No. No. Parat. No Parat. ท่าเยอะเยอะเยอะอ้าวนะนอตเอ่อยูเซอเอนางโนโนอ้าวอ้าวนะเยอะอ้าวนะซูซานบอยซูซานบอยเยอะอ่ะซูซานบอยซูซ
containing molas, fossils, and plants. Mm. <laughs> this biota eventually decomposed into lignite lenses and beds intercalated with the rocks. In the last geological period of the quaternary period, unconsolidated sediments, particularly alluvium, are underlain by the tertiary rocks of Ban Lam Ho. On one hand, tectonism and climatic deterioration in the upper five Tocene epoch of 200,000 to 10,000 years resulted in uplifting in this area, followed by weathering and erosional processes which degraded unconsolidated sediments into lowland Permian. The other sediments in the upland were weathered into residual uh, deposited as lactoryptic soils and lactorites. During the Holocene epoch, the global sea level was high due to the melting ice in the northern hemisphere, resulting in the invasion of seawater over the inland area. Transgression in Thailand has commenced since 9,000 years BP and reached the maximum height of about 4 meters at 6,000 years. Um, BP in Ben Lang Ho was then an island. After 6,000 years BP, the sea level has dropped and reached the present level at about 1,500 years BP. Regression in this period produced coastal life forms such as beach land, lagoons, and the tidal flat around Ban Lang Ho until the present time. Recently, the Moldas Paso site at Ben Lampo is severely eroded by the wave action. The Department of Mineral Resources and other governmental organizations have planned for conservation of the Molas fossil beds in order to maintain and keep this geological feature, insisting at the coastal area of Ben Lampo forever. Thank you. <laughs> and this is called the World Molas Fossil site. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. <laughs> hmm. Swati crop. <laughs> okay, now you say oh, Swati Swati crop. Swati crop. <laughs> okay.